morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Just going to do a quick um, vid here just on demolding this thing here. If you've never worked with a sauna tube before, I'll just show you uh, the best way. Well, maybe not the best way, <laughs> it's my way. But uh, first thing you want to do is take a utility knife, just score the bottom where you had your silicone in the table. And then you look at your tube and you'll see that it, I hope this shows up on the camera, that it runs in these concentric circles but in a spiral rolling up. So you look for the very top one that comes to the top lip. Give it a cut with your utility knife. Now you can either pull like this with your hands or you can grab a pair of channel locks and start working your way around. Once it gets going, it gets a little easier. What I just did there is that, that top layer of cardboard was coming off and not the bottom. So I just made a little slice in it to uh, loosen that up. Get that off there. Of course I'm doing a video. This is what's going to happen. There we go. See, that's the voids that I wanted to purposely get in. I'll bring the camera in a second and get a little closer. Also, here, I'll show you this here. When you get closer, you can see it leaves these little ridge lines here. So it's up to you. You can leave them in, you can take them off. You can see I took them off this one already. So either just with like a stone rasp, you can just run it across, whoops. Trying to do this one-handed. So that takes it off. You can use a file. Take it off, or you can use, I have my big stone here. You can just run it around in a circle. Just rub that off. But like I said, you don't have to. If you want to keep it on, you can keep it on. So there's the finished product. Like I said, those voids and lahav, you were saying, don't little pieces come out? No, they don't. They stay in. I've had ones at the year at the house for like seven years. And you'll see once this is stained, yeah, it gives a really good uh, aged look to it. And that's what I was looking for. And there's the base. <clears throat> I didn't do it as dry of a uh, uh, pour as this one. I wet it down a little bit. Uh, there's still voids in it, but that's okay. I was going for that sort of look. So I got one more base to make and then we'll move these outside in a in a week and uh, you guys can take a look when I put it together. Okay everybody, bye-bye.